Hi everybody, so today I'm going to teach you how to use LT Spice to simulate a DC sweep uh, over a range of DC values. Um, so basically what the DC sweep does is it looks at a um, voltage supply and looks at the circuit over a range of uh, DC values of that voltage supply. Um, so in our case we are going to look at uh, V supply going from minus 10 to 10 volts um, with a 1 volt increment. So that way we can see at every step of you know at any voltage in V supply what the, the output will look like. Um, now my circuit is very basic circuit everybody should know it it's just a voltage divider um, so V output should be equal to V supply multiply by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 like I said it's just a known voltage divider so to set up the DC sweep uh, you're gonna go in the edit simulation command and then you're gonna go on DC sweep tab and here's where you're gonna set up your DC sweep so you can first of all you have different tabs here so you can set up different uh, sweep sweeps at the same time. Um, so that would be if you'd have um, different voltage sources on in your circuit that um, you can simulate them um, or sweep them as well. Um, now we only have one source so we're just going to click the one source. So the first text box you have to fill out is your uh, the name of the component you want to sweep and in our case it's just VS. Now we have a type of sweep so we have five different uh, four different types of sweep. We have linear, octave, decade and list. Um, we're just going to be using linear. Um, the, uh, the other ones are similar. Um, they're just not what we are looking at right now. So our, after that we have two um, three text box. Uh, the first one is the start value, the second one is the stop value, and the last one is the increment. So in our case we're going to start at minus, five, uh, minus 10, we're going to stop at 10, and we're going to have a 1 increment. Um, so that way we, uh, we have enough reads. So after that just click OK and then click on the run button. Uh, now we're going to have our simple graph. So first let's just uh, look at or V supply. Um, so just by clicking anywhere on the circuit, when that little tool shows up, it's going to show you the uh, the voltage at that point. Um, so as expected, um, we're going here at the bottom is our DC sweep, um, and then it's obviously equal to what the value is here because we're just looking at V supply anyways. Um, but if we also look at V output, uh, we just click on it or we can add it manually by um, adding a trace. And this is just how you would add you know, any, any other trace you want. Um, now, now we have the two trace. Uh, we see that you know, the output is correct because um, the blue line is the output, which is the, you know, the input divided by some number, uh, which depend on R1 and R2. Now, if you want to find the exact value of or, uh, of your line, uh, all you have to do is go where the t the title of the trace you have, uh, right click on it, and then you see where it says attach cursor. Um, you can attach up to two cursors, so we're just going to attach one right now, um, and then it, these lines show up. So then you can make sure that the the, the number the little number appears depending on the the number of the cursor um, and then you can see here this is the where uh, the value of the crosshair so basically this value is zero zero right now but as I move it um, you see those values changing and giving you the exact value of um, of the output basically right now um, so we could look let's say here we're about at eight eight volts um, and then the output um, so 8 bit on the V supply because this is our sweep again um, and then our output is around 5.5 which is um, which is what it should be so now the last thing we want to do is be able to change the um, the horizontal axis so that way we can plot different things um, not just looking at V supply or the sweep. So just put your cursor over the um, scale and just wait till the little ruler appears and then you can just click on it and then you see where it says quantities plotted um, you can change that to any any other component. So right now we're just looking at V supply but let's say we want to look at the, uh, the current um, in the circuit at a certain point. So we can put just I for current and then in brackets this the component we want to look at. So let's say we want to look at R1. 
Um, so the current at R1 um, will be the bottom or the horizontal scale, which is right here, and then we're still going to have the voltage. So this is going to create an IV curve, which can be useful in uh, many gra or in many circuits, and uh, to show you, you know, the relation between current and voltage. Now we can also put, you know, different values here. We can put, you know, directly V out. Um, actually, we to put voltage on a certain thing you need to put V first so V in bracket V out will give us the voltage at V out and there we go so hopefully um, this tutorial was in, uh, informative to you guys and uh, you learned how to use a DC sweep uh, using LT spice thank you very much for listening